All right, we're gonna make our bas relief sculpture. And I did a drawing of one of Roy Lichtenstein, a pop artist's work, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to make this pop out. So I rolled out this slab, and a couple of things that I learned when rolling out a slab, if you don't have a rolling pin at home, I used this cup to roll out my slab and it worked really good. I tried some other things, and I'll tell you, I failed. I tried a peanut butter jar, that didn't work very well because it kind of pushed on it, but the cup worked the best on my trying to find things that you have at home that you could use to roll out a slab. And remember this needs to be eight by 10, and so I made this drawing eight by 10 on purpose so that you can sit this on here and I can push, toothpick, whatever I've got, kind of to make that the right size. Pencil, actually let me try a pencil and see how that works. Okay, and it's creating an indent in there, I can already feel it. Yep, I can see it in there. There's an indent. You can see that indent now. Okay, so lift that off. And then I can use a butter knife to cut this slab. And then remember one of your requirements is you have to have some type of border around it. And I had in my drawing accounted for the border. I think that'll help. And I think a good drawing will help too. So just keep that in mind. So now here's my slab. And remember that slab should be about the thickness of your thumb. All right, so like I said, I had that border in mind here. So I'm gonna, the pencil worked really good. So I'm gonna put this back on here. And with my pencil, I'm going to trace that border. I'm also gonna trace my drawing. Cause I think that's gonna help me get proportions. So I know like where the face lines up. So all I'm doing right now is just outlining every single line. And if you're familiar with Lichtenstein's work, he had this like cartoony kind of style. And you can kind of see how it'll take me a while to outline, but I think it, in the end, it'll be worth the time. So in the meantime, I can kind of think about my border and you can make that border pop out and think about what, what do you want it to be. Um, one thing that I found that I want to share with you is trying to braid clay doesn't work super well because when it, it's time to dry, it wants to crack. So if you have that in mind, I would say to try to avoid that just from my own experience, I'm just sharing that with you, that I did not have a lot of success. If you have success, please share with me how you did it because like I said, I did not have a lot of success trying that in the past. 
but I think it'll be easier if you start with a good drawing, 8 by 10, and then think about how wide or narrow, I guess, you want your border. I think I went with a one inch kind of border, so that made my drawing 7 by 9. And this isn't going to be perfect, but it's going to give you that guide that you need. And I think you'll be happy with how it looks. Like I might not do the little dots I have here in the eye, because I don't think they'll probably show up. So same with the dots that I have in the mouth. I'll just know that I have to create those. I've already been thinking how I'm going to do that with little balls of clay kind of popping out to make it that bow relief if this were actually real how would it pop out at us. And for my border, I think I want to try kind of like a, a zigzaggy approach and rolling out a slab. So I'll show you what I was thinking. Not sure if it'll work, but it's worth a try. And if not, I'll try something else. Um, this is the fun part of building with ceramics. If you don't succeed, you can wad it up and try again. And I think it's important that you guys are creating and having some fun here. Getting exposed maybe to a new artist or a favorite one that you've already had. I really wanted to do another Van Gogh because I've already done a couple of Van Goghs, but I went with a Lichtenstein just to have a different example here. Because I'm a fan of Van Gogh and I know I get in that rut where I do the same or the ones that I like. Not that I don't like Lichtenstein, I think his work's pretty cool. But there's certain artists I think we're all drawn to. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'll take that off. You can kind of see the impre impression there, which will help me um, as I go here. All right, I'm going to slide this back for a second and then... What I was thinking is, the zigzag, but then the, now the more I think about it, pop art has like circular. So maybe I'm gonna change my mind again. I was gonna, and I'll show you what I was gonna do just to give some of you some ideas. But I think I've abandoned that with a new idea. So what I was going to do is use a slab like this and kind of build a border like that. But I, I'm thinking about Lichtenstein's work, and what might be kind of cool is... Like I said, these kind of bubbles or circles. So I'm going to roll my clay in a ball. Be 
because he used all these circles in his work. And then I'm going to cut that ball in half. I'm actually going to use both sides of this. And I'm going to do a variety of different sizes, I think. So there you can see. And I'm going to score. And score where I'm attaching. And taking my slip. And then I'm going to use my popsicle stick and seal that all the way around. But then this other one, I'm going to put it maybe in a, over in a different location. Over here, add my slip. Seal it, take some of this clay. Like I said, I wanted to do a bunch of different sizes, I think. Cut it in half. <laughs> Add my slip. Score. Maybe we'll put this one over here. Add my slip. All right, and then roll another one here of clay. Cut that in half. Actually, I want to make it a little smaller. And my slip. Put that one there. So this will kind of be like a pebbly texture. All the way around. So I keep doing this as I build up the frame. Add some slip. And then right here, really small one. Cut it in half so I have a flat side. And like I said, I would continue that all the way around and I would do your frame first. Because once you get your frame done, then it's a matter of building up, carving out, um, adding things in 3D. So as I look at this, like for example, um, this outline here of her face, I, I might want to roll a coil. And I want it fairly thin. All right, and as I look at her nose here, and I can refer back to my drawing too, that might help. Gonna have that part pop out. <clears throat> 